on this drive for the Mustangs as their defense holds, and here comes SMU's second try of the afternoon. Especially teams are looking good and showing signs uh, that lots of work was done in that direction uh, this past week. Well, no, they, they, filmed, they filmed the workouts on Tuesday and evaluated early Wednesday. So Wednesday on is when they smooth out, and uh, they would spend lots of time, both teams, on specialty teamwork. Bobby Waters, the quarterback, the I formation. Waters completed 13 straight in the opening game against Rice, a new Southwest Conference record. And here's the pitch to guess who? Adkins high-stepping his way out to almost the 50-yard line. Looks like the opening SMU first down of the day. Garland Littles brought him down. Well, it's important that Atkins gets off to a good start if he's going to have a good day, and that's what the SMU coaches staff feel like. And they were worried on that first pitch because he has had a habit of fumbling early in the ball game, running an option play and receiving the pitch. He filled that one nicely, got the first down and off to a good start. Well, he is closing in on uh, all sorts of career records, uh, our career numbers at SMU. Could this year with a great season as the pass is way short out in the flat as Waters hits the deck. He was looking for Ron Morris out there, but Atkins is closing in. It's there. It's going to be second and 10. Atkins is closing in on some career marks at SMU. He needs 1,103 yards, really actually less than 1,100 to get into second place on the all-time list and maybe pass his old buddy Reggie Dupart. He'll probably make it. He may make it with a big season, and the Mustangs want him to have one, obviously. And again, he is doing most of the work at tailback this year alone. This time they give it to him out of the draw, but there was some uh, motion along the line of scrimmage on second and 10 before the play could get underway. 10-11 to go here in the first quarter. Glad you're with us here you know, on Channel 21. Bill, uh, looking back at the play before this, you see the patch floor there. Uh, I believe that's where water slipped down when he started to plant and make his throw to the left. Uh, uh, of course, this penalty will get him away from that patched up uh, piece of carpet there. He took over. Offense. Okay, so a false start offense cost SMU five and sets up a second and 15. We had a shot a moment ago of Waters who... Uh, under some pressure, taking over after successful runs at quarterback from Lance McElhaney and Don King, but his teammates love him. He's a very quiet young man, but very accurate with his passing and a pretty good option quarterback. This time you would expect a pass, and on a rollout, he's looking for Morris in the flat, overthrows it. He overthrew his first pass, actually threw his first pass of the season against Rice into the carpet, and after that he completed 13 in a row, so maybe this will be a good omen for the Mustang. Well, he's got lots of good touch. He's a good athlete, and they're going to need to get the football to the wideouts. Uh, Ron Maris and uh, Jacobs, uh, they're two fine, fine athletes, and then occasionally give it to Atkins and occasionally fool someone and give it to the fullback, and here we go. We need to overcome this penalty. Jed Martin, a sophomore in at fullback, lead blocker for Atkins, and on the draw, Mustangs taking no chances here, hoping actually that they could spring that one for a big game, but nothing doing as the Horn Frogs, who have been maligned a bit over the past couple of weeks defensively, use a tackle from Chris Shaw and others to set up another SMU punt. So trade kicks here in the early going. Both teams get a first down, but uh, can get a little more, and now it's a battle of field position here early going. Third and 15. It's not a bad, not a bad play, that old draw play. Sometimes works for big yardage. Not a Dodge Carter-like punt here. A bit short. Will bounce and take a TCU bounce. So Tony Shellman, check that Kobe Morrison, downs it at the 35-yard line. And midway through the opening quarter here at the Cotton Bowl, no score. Mustangs and the Horn Frog. 